Hello and welcome to this World of Tanks tutorial. My name is Maxwell and today we're going to be taking a look at the countryside map Westfield and the routes and tactics you should use. As always we'll take a quick look at the map of Westfield before we get into the guide proper. As you can see straight away just with a glance you are fairly limited in your choices as a scout. You are consigned mainly to the right flank and the central area. And the reason for this is just basically the heavy tanks and tank destroyers spawn on the left hand flank which is up a very large hill and by the time you can get up that hill and get into a good advanced spotting position nine times out of ten your heavy tanks and tank destroyers have already reached a position just as advanced negating your need to be a spotter for them so as you can see uh, heavy tanks from both sides will occupy the village in the center of the left hand flank area Heavy tanks of both sides will occupy the very far left hand flank and tank destroyers will camp along the ridges and in the back areas of the upper upper left hand flank there to cover their own artillery. Mediums from both sides will occupy the village in the centre although that is normally only one or two medium tanks from each side will take that position. Most medium tanks will head up the big long rise. Uh, from base number two they will occupy a little area on the ridge next to the viaduct sorry aqueduct not viaduct and the mediums from base number one will head up and into the right hand corner there so as you can see as a scout we'll start with base number one you want to basically follow the area that the medium tanks follow so on the far right hand side and the central area there from base number two it's basically a mirror copy you want to occupy the far right hand flank and the central area the right hand flank once your job is done there as a spotter then you want to just push onto the enemy's base and try and take out their artillery so let's get into the guide proper so the first route we are going to cover when spawning at base number one is going to be the right hand flank up this giant hill here to try and get into some cover it's a bit of a slog so having a very fast tank uh, this is the best route to take so if you're in say the uh, the T-50 or the T-52 or the A-20 or probably the German ones the Leopard uh, if you're in the American tanks I probably wouldn't recommend this one as your first choice as you have a slower top speed and acceleration than the other scouting tanks now you'll see that this position because of the two big hills on either side of uh, this area being a fast light tank it lets you get into a very very advanced position before any enemy is able to get eyes on your position so you definitely have the advantage on this map so what I would do is have a, a look at your team when you first start not sorry not your team the enemy team when you first start and if you are far and away the fastest vehicle then you probably want to take a more advanced position than I'm going to show you here but I'm just going to show you the general area that you want to be aiming for which is this clump of bushes right here now these are good as they give you if you just spin the camera around and have a look they give you good stealth from the front and all of the sides all the way around so it's very very difficult for you to be spotted in this position no matter where the enemy's coming from and from here it gives you a fantastic view of that little ridge there because all of the enemy's medium tanks and light tanks will be more than likely cresting that ridge unless they've got some kind of crazy through the valley rushing plan in mind which more than likely they don't so from here you'll be able to spot any medium tanks getting into position usually in those bushes there or those bushes there and sometimes they just sit on the hill just up there and the other good thing about this position is if the enemy doesn't have an advanced scout hiding say in these bushes here with eyes on you more often than not you can have a shot at an enemy tank there without being spotted because of the distance involved and the fantastic stealth from all these bushes that you are given now once you are satisfied that there is nobody up on that ridge you can advance forwards if the enemy has a very slow team then I would recommend coming forward to about this position here and just stopping around about this bush as again it offers you good stealth from the sides and the front so anybody rushing past you won't spot you till the last minute and although it doesn't look like it because of the trees it does again offer you a fantastic view of the ridge although from that position you probably aren't safe to have a shot at any enemy tanks as you are considerably closer than you were in the other position so once you 
convinced that this area is cleared or you want to push forward and play more of an attacking role then you want to just get to the ridge as fast as possible and dip down the other side try and keep close to the red line because anybody in those bushes there it just lowers the chances of you being spotted the further from the more travelled routes that you are and the idea is to just swing round the back here and get behind these buildings because this is one of the areas that the enemy's artillery will be camped in. It's not the most likely area as artillery generally spawns up on the hill there but every now and then you'll catch an artillery piece in those bushes there or just behind these buildings in those trees. If they're not down there then just carry on. Don't go for a base capture because any tank destroyer heavy tank camped up on that ridge there will be able to spot you no problem whatsoever. So all you want to do is just make it up this ridge now unless there is an enemy tank camped in their base or along the tree line there you generally won't get spotted coming up this ridge here so going at just 20 kilometers an hour really doesn't make that much difference now if you didn't find any artillery pieces camped behind the buildings which more than likely you won't have they will nine times out of ten be camped in these small bushes around here so that one there these ones here or just further up there and what you want to do is just take those out as quickly as possible and then swing back round and head for the enemy space. Sometimes you may have to push all the way up to this tree line here. Uh, if you find that you do have to push up to these bushes in this tree line here, just be aware that normally there will be a tank destroyer camped in this area also, so you will have to be aware of that and contend with him. So if they are up here, the artillery more than likely be in this little dip here and like I said just be aware that you will probably have to deal with a enemy tank destroyer. Now the second route we're going to cover when spawning at base number one is going to be a lot more central in the map and this is the route that I would suggest you take if you are in a slower one of the slower light tanks so if you are in either of the American light tanks or maybe the French light tanks or if you just have um, one of the German or Russian light tanks that aren't upgraded. Maybe you haven't bought the best engine and suspension so your top speed isn't up to scratch. So what you want to do is just get up this hill, basically follow this little track here and get up this hill as quickly as possible. Uh, you'll notice that it's a lot faster to get to this advanced position on the map than it is when taking the right hand route. But this is a lot more dangerous than that route. So you want to just come forward and these bushes here are what you are aiming for. So just get yourself in there, try not to knock that tree down like I just did. But basically if you spin your camera around, well you don't want to knock the tree down because anybody driving through there will see that fell tree and think to themselves somebody's hiding in that bush and that's probably game over for you so be careful. But if you spin your camera around you can see that you're fairly well stealthed from the front and marginally from the side. I'm sure if you spend a little time practicing you can tuck yourself in there like that a bit better and get yourself much better stealth from the side now this position here offers you a fantastic view of again the ridge where the medium tanks will be taking position but you will see them getting into position a lot earlier because you will be here a lot quicker and you will have fantastic view of the little aqueduct here where you'll be able to spot any tanks making a suicidal rush towards the village. Now from here once the battle has progressed a bit or if you get spotted or if you want to play a bit more aggressively you want to head down either through the aqueduct there and hunt out the enemy's artillery or if you are needed you can just make a little drive up this hill here and try and take up a position at the bottom of this village and what you can do here is just try and spot the enemy tank destroyers so just get yourself nice and uh, hidden there because sometimes you'll find that somebody will try and camp in that bush there and generally across next to that rock now once you're satisfied that this area is cleared or again if you want to play a lot more aggressively then you want to just make a break across the open ground unfortunately there's no real tactics you can give for this because you are literally making a dash across open ground so you'll be an easy target for anybody who's still alive all I can say is try and get yourself to the edge of the map here so that you're in that little dip and it gives you a little bit of safety for a short while 
So basically, you're just going to be making a dash across the open ground because your goal now is to try and take out the enemy's artillery. So once you've located it, either try and take it out or just keep eyes on it for your bigger tanks and artillery to take it out themselves. And just like the previous route, remember to get up on top of that ridge there to try and seek out the last piece of artillery. And once that's done, and if you're still alive, then just spin yourself around and head down the hill towards the enemy's base and try and get off a base capture. Now on to base number two. The first route we're going to cover is going to be almost a mirror image of the first route when spawning at base number one. So it's going to be up the left hand flank up the big hill and taking up a good spotting position in a bush. Now as you'll find you'll be able to get quite far down the map uh, when spawning at base number two. It's going to feel a lot further than, than when spawning at base number one but if you are the fastest tank on the map you should easily be able to reach it before any of the enemy will be able to take up a position. You'll find that light tanks are sometimes reluctant to take this route so it's often only medium tanks which try and hide in these bushes on the left hand flank. You'll find that light tanks either come across these ridges here or through the town there and it's only medium tanks that try and advance and a lot more slowly through these bushes here. So what you want to do is just get here as quickly as possible. Uh, like I said when spawning at base number one, the best tanks to do this with are the upgraded German and Russian tanks because they have the best acceleration and top speed because there is quite a lot of uphill driving involved. Now there aren't quite as good a set of bushes as there are when coming the opposite way so the best we can do is these here. And what you want to do is just position yourself so you get the maximum coverage. And remember that having more than one bush in front of you does um, improve your stealth rating. So having that one there, that little bush there, and even that one there will increase your stealth. The only problem is that the coverage isn't all the way around the tank. So if somebody is coming along, if somebody's coming very fast along that route there, then once they get to about that position there they will more than likely spot you. The only saving grace is it's very unlikely to get somebody coming along that route there and if they do hopefully your allies with your help will be able to spot them first and take them out. So more likely than not you will just catch medium tanks coming up the hill uh, around about that area. It's not very easy to see because of these trees. I'm just going to knock this tree down so, and this one <laughs> so that you can see uh, what I'm getting at. No, there's just too many trees. Sorry about that. So basically it's the this area here just all along as the medium tanks crest that ridge there you should be able to spot them very easily because it's unlikely that they'll be on the far left hand side in cover they generally just drive straight up because they think that they will be well out of range of enemy spotting which in this case they are not because you've taken this advanced position so once your artillery and big guns on the ridge back there have taken them out or if you get spotted from someone and you need to make a run for it just head down this bank as quickly as possible now because it's open ground you can do some zigzagging maneuvers uh, like so but even those get a bit predictable so just mix it up a bit and just be careful not to lose too much speed doing your zigzagging maneuvers at the end of the day traveling at 55 kilometers an hour is better than traveling at 35 and zigzagging speed is what will keep you alive so as you come down this hill just be aware that tank destroyers may be camped along that ridge there and will be slowly turning to try and take you out now you have a better time of it spawning at base number two than spawning at base number one for finding enemy artillery. You'll find that they'll be in that bush there, these bushes here, or more often than not in these bushes here. If they are not there then you'll have to come around the back of these small buildings here because they will more than likely just be up the ridge a little bit there. Uh, some artillery do like to move up the hill just to get better range on the enemy's heavy tanks and tank destroyers which camp in these areas here that I'm indicating on the mini map. So they like to have the range by coming up this hill a little bit. It does mean that you are an easy target as you are coming up this hill to anybody that's camped in that area there. 
If you're lucky and there's nobody camped in that area there, then 9 times out of 10, if the enemy artillery isn't in those bushes over there, you will find them in these bushes here, or just in these bushes here. So take those out as quickly as possible, or have eyes on them for your artillery to take them out. And that is the first route for spawning at base number 2. Now the second and final route that we're going to cover when spawning at base number 2 is going to be uh, um, a central position like with base number 1. Now what you lost spawning at base number 2 in terms of stealth positions on the left hand flank you more than make up for with stealth positions on the central section. So what you want to do is just get up this hill as quickly as possible, take sort of a, a a slow and steady route up the hill, it's no good bombing along to that area and then cutting up the hill uh, as you will just lose all of your speed and any advantage that you would have gained by staying on level ground. So just come up slow and steady and what you want to do is when you see these rocks here you want to just pull into these bushes next to those rocks. What you want to do is get yourself into a good stealth position. Now normally I say don't hide inside bushes because that lowers your stealth capabilities but in this case you're not as bothered about stealth from the side there and I'm in this position because you are more bothered about stealth from the front from this angle because you are here to spot medium tanks coming up this hill here all the way from the enemy's base as you can see and if you're not stealthed uh, this way when they reach about this area here which they will because they'll be pushing on to a roundabout here you will more than likely get spotted but with this if you turn front on rather than sideways then you are stealthed all the way along you're stealthed right up until the enemy's medium tanks reach this area here which nine times out of ten they don't because your medium tanks on the hill will be able to take them out now once you've done your spotting from this position um, Oh, just a quick note, if you are planning to have a couple of shots in this position, then I wouldn't recommend doing it with a French tank, as the French tank's gun traverse, um, vertical gun traverse up and down, is absolutely atrocious. You will probably be able to reach about that area there, and that's probably the highest you will be able to aim, whereas other tanks can get up to about there. In fact, the French gun probably only gets to about there, and a normal gun can get all the way to there. So, once you have cleared out this area, you can either advance on to the enemy's base, base through the village there and try and seek out the enemy's artillery, or if you're feeling a bit more daring, then you can head up the hill past the village and try and lend a hand in that area. Now, there are two things you can do. If you think you are well stealthed and there's nobody in the base or that ridge there that has eyes on you, but you'll, as you can see there, I've been spotted simply by coming into the open here. Actually I'm just having a look there and although I've spotted them they actually haven't spotted me so ignore what I just said you're more than safe to come up this area here. Now what you can do is you can either just bomb straight for those bushes and try and take out any of the enemy's tank destroyers that will be camped there or you can take up a stealth position in this bush here and try and spot the enemy's artillery having a shot because you'll find sometimes artillery won't take up a stealth position in a bush or they'll have done it incorrectly and left half the body poking out or sometimes they'll just set up in the open ground for quickness so you will be able to spot them having a shot there if they are incorrectly stealthed and the other thing you can do is just push on here because sometimes you'll find a tank destroyer camp there or here or in those bushes there and if you can flank them and circle them then you should be able to pick up an easy kill and then what you want to do is just push on to this tree line over here, seeking out the enemy's artillery. Once they've been taken out, then just swing down into the base, mop up any last enemy artillery, and then just try and either get a base capture off or wait for the team to get finished off. Thank you for watching this World of Tanks tutorial. If you enjoyed this video and found it useful, don't forget to like or favourite it. And if you want further World of Tanks content, guides, tutorials, tips and gameplays in the future, then you can go ahead and subscribe to this channel. Thank you.